Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the Forex Pisami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody. Let's take a look again on the euro currency. Well, this, this week we have a really extended discussion in a weekly report concerning the Federal Reserve policy and what other factors that could make impact on the balance on the, for, uh, on the forex market in the nearest term. Actually, we see two major directions. The first is the balance, as we already talked about, between the Fed policy and statistics. So we see some contradiction of the high inflation and fragile performance of the economy. So it might become evident. For example, last, in last week we've got the poor retail sales. Of course, we can't make any conclusion based on just one single numbers, but it's just an example. So if it turns to the tendency, and that will become a real headache for the Fed what to do with interest rates, because this will be definitely a contradiction that they will have to hold the inflation somehow, but they can't raise rates as they would like to, just because it could hurt the economy recovery. So this is the first balance and that all, all investors will keep an eye on. Second, currently it's not, uh, well, discussed really widely in the, in the news, uh, but it's still not less important. This is the drying of the liquidity. So the quantitative uh, tightening should start and the degree of it definitely makes impact on the interest rates as well. And uh, since it, it should start somewhere close to the second half of the year, close to the summer, that's why it's not very well critical right now, but it's a lot of really uh, pitfalls exist in this subject as well. So all this we will have tried to cover it in today's uh, report. So speaking in the short term, returning back to our trading plan that we have in our performance of the euro currency. So we could say uh, so uh, that actually we've got the statistics within the recent couple of weeks on all subjects of the economy. We've got retail sales, which actually the gross domestic product. We've got inflation, we've got employment. So currently we have the, well, some short term view on the economy. And this short term information tells that Fed has no necessity to adjust its rhetoric and its policy. Uh, that should make markets to breathe a bit freely, uh, to calm down a bit and uh, to relax. And you can see the first results of that. So the, the really big fears and scaring have been priced in in the dollar performance recently, which currently market is trying to play back to push the reverse pedal. And you can see that some relief stands on the markets across the board. Uh, and uh, since it is some time till the March rate change, uh, we think that this environment should last for some time. So maybe within a month or so, your currency should feel a bit relatively free to show different performance. Since also we have the yearly pivot point around 1630, that's the target that we keep in mind as the potential destination point of the current retracement. So we still treat it as a retracement, don't think that euro stands at the edge uh, of the reversal. So this is just a pullback by our suggestion. But first, to think about the 1630, market has to start the second leg of the upper direction. So the first leg is done, market completed the OP, now it turns to the anticipated retracement. So as we said on Thursday that euro should turn down is because here we have the strong resistance class for it. It will not be able to pass through it occasionally. It has to take a breath. And also on Friday, we've got the tweezers. So it means that's also another shot some bearer sign that tells that retracement should be a bit deeper. On the weekly chart, this performance in general could be treated as the brand butter sell which suggests deep retracement to the 113 area. But taking into consideration information background and all the stuff that we have around it, 
we think that 113, well, it might be a bit too deep. So we would consider different levels first, because we suggest that already, although 113, it, it is possible, it is not break the overall bullish context. But in the current circumstance, we think that the first, it would be better to consider different levels. And from that standpoint, uh, therefore, our time frame chart is just a gold mine of information. But to complete the discussion of the daily chart, we suggest that the next destination point will be 1540 that we intend to consider here after retracement. This will become next destination point. So 50% resistance. And let's take a look at the XOP target of the same initial ABCD pattern. So now let's go to the four hour time frame chart. Here is a lot of moments to talk about. First of all, you could see that this downside action has started through the acceleration and I would call it even as the three crowns. So because take a look, we will see the candles that increasing in size close at the bottom. And this is typical for the type of the three crowns, three black crowns pattern. That usually suggests rather deep retracement or at least some downside continuation. Uh, since this is for our time frame chart, intraday chart, this is, should be, well, it, it, it's not as important, say, on the, as on the monthly chart, because on the monthly it usually indicates the major reversals. But here it just indicates that some more selling pressure have appeared around this level and more traders step in on the bearish side. This is first moment. It means that downward action should continue. So that will be not the final point of the retracement. Second moment here is that market hits the confidence support is 114.03, 114.07. It means that downside action probably will take the shape of the ABCD passion. It's just because of the strong support. Market should show some bounce up from here. If it will happen, then be prepared that on the hourly chart, for example, it should take the shape of the A, B, C, top D pattern, which is good for us because uh, A, B, C, D should let us to estimate better, with a better precision, the destination point of the retracement. So third moment, uh, although, as I said, 113 might be the target, I would better to consider 113 third area. By the two reasons. First is because we have here the long term trend line, which stands very nice and market respects it accurately. Second reason is because it agrees with the major 50% level. And as you know, for the euro currency, the 50% level is very important. So very often shows the 50% retracement. That makes me to watch for this level over this level um, as the ultimate target. And finally, what we see on the fall time frame chart is the another support, which is the 1360, 1370. It's another confidence. So two support clusters in very tight range, taken into consideration with the natural support resistance line here, makes us think that it's more prominent to consider currently this level of the 1370, 1385, somewhere in between of this confidence, is the most probable destination point of the retracement. So that's what we intend to keep an eye on in the coming week. Logic is simple here, guys, because if your somehow breaks the two side by side confidence areas, what are the chances that the single standing level just holds the price action? So this is very strong support area around it. And uh, that makes us just following to probability analysis, consider this level. But at the same time, strength of the sell off tells us that the first confidence still could be passed by the price action. So that's our analysis for this uh, week. In the two words speaking, as a conclusion, we intend to keep an eye on the ABCD shape of retracement with the area of 1370, 1385 as preliminary area that we intend to keep an eye on as a potential entry on the long side of the market. So that's what we intend to keep an eye on in the coming week.